In this question, a student has drawn a visual equation to represent a chemical reaction. Our goal is to figure out if this equation is balanced. So in a balanced equation, that means that the number of our reactants equals the number of our products for all elements in the reaction. And reactants, that's the before. So in our equation shown here, this part before the arrow, that's our reactants. So those are our things that are going to react together. And then the stuff after the arrow, that's the products. Those are the things we're going to produce in our reaction. Okay, so to determine if it's balanced, all we need to do is count up the number of atoms or moles of each element before in the reactants. Then count up the number of atoms or moles of each element after in the products and then compare them. If they're equal, then the equation's balanced. If they're not equal, then the equation is not balanced. So first let's look at hydrogen. So before we have one hydrogen here and one hydrogen here. So that's two hydrogens in our reactants. After we have one hydrogen here and one hydrogen here. So that's two hydrogens after. And I'm just crossing them off as I go to make sure I've counted everything. Okay, so that looks good because those are equal. So that looks balanced. Okay, what about chlorine? We have one chlorine here in the reactants and we have one chlorine here in the products. So we had one in the reactants, one in the products. Again, that's equal. So chlorine is balanced in this equation. Next, let's look at lithium. We have one lithium in our reactants there and one lithium in our products there. So again, we have one reactant, one product. Those are equal, so that is looking good, that's balanced. Lastly, oxygen, we have one oxygen in the reactants there and one oxygen in the products there. Again, that's equal, so that's looking good. So in this question, for all of our different elements, the number in the reactants and the number in the products are equal. So this equation is balanced correctly. Now let's look at this question. Again, we're looking at the reactants and the products and we're counting up the uh, atoms or moles of elements before and after to see if they're the same. So first let's look at nitrogen. We've got one, two nitrogens in the reactants and one nitrogen in the products. So here we can immediately see that is not equal. We have more nitrogens before than we do have after. So this is not looking good. So based on that alone, we know that no, this visual equation is not balanced correctly. We can still check our other elements. So hydrogen, we've got one, two, three, four hydrogens in the reactants, and we've got one, two, three hydrogens in the products. So again, this is not equal. This is not balanced correctly we would need the number in the reactants to equal the number of the products in order for it to be balanced.